now we will see uh, a broad spectrum in the coming session we'll be doing more deep dive into the project management but before that the thing which need to be understood very clearly that in the field of project management there are some three four terminologies are very important to understand one is called the project management second is called program management third is called portfolio management and one is called operations management how they are interlinked what they are exactly okay we will see in our subsequent slide but normally the project management program management and portfolio managements are the very common terminology used in business a project may be managed in three separate scenarios as a stand alone project this is first scenario it is not part of any portfolio or program we'll see what portfolio program is second is it can be a project can be executed within a program okay or a project can be executed within a portfolio so the project uh, and a one project or single unit of project can be executed as a stand alone or it can be executed under the umbrella of program management or under the umbrella of portfolio management project managers interact with portfolio and program manager when a project is within the program or portfolio very simple as we were discussing so far there is there is a called a project manager who is responsible we will get into the more details of project manager what are his responsibility roles in subsequent sessions but so far project manager is responsible for project a project management similarly for program management there is a program manager for portfolio management there is a portfolio manager so there are three different identities they could be common that's a different issue but he will be holding a two designation he may be a program manager also as well as he could be a project manager also but there will be a different clearly defined designations positions i'm just giving an example now multiple projects may be needed to accomplish a set of goals and objective for an organization in those situations project may be grouped together into a program correct and this is very simple that uh, multiple projects are required to meet an objective and those projects can be identified as as uh, an independent identity or independent nature so to keep them away and as an independent project will be more effective to manage the constraints and what could be an example of this i'm just giving you an an uh, uh, very common example okay say when a township comes okay a township need to be developed correct so for the township and need to be uh, developed in that uh, and said this is a program right now a township development is a program but what projects will be there inside this township development that need to be understood very clearly first of all when you are developing a township or a city or a town 
you need to create first the infrastructure over there. You got a greenfield land. So in that greenfield land, greenfield land, you will have to create a basic infrastructure. And what is that basic infrastructure? The ground where you are going to make a, a township or a city or a town that should be leveled, that should be a plain, should be made plain. It should have roads, it should have street lights, it should have uh, water supply, sewage connection, electricity connection, correct? Once you bring all these things as a part of infrastructure in that township program, then you can think of developing or constructing the buildings over there. So the township program is having first project called infrastructure development. Road, electricity, water, sewage, everything, everything. Second project may be commercial complexes. Third project could be residential compounds. Fourth project could be the cafeterias. Fifth could be big shopping complex or the malls. So this is how you build a program of city or township. That is a program with multiple projects. And that makes the job easy. You are distributing the jobs. Resource pressure will be more better. So that's basically the concept. A program is defined as a group of related projects. They're all related. When you are making a township, the objective is to make a township. So whether it is infrastructure, commercial hubs, residential hubs, all they're related. So the program is defined as a group of related projects, subsidiary programs and program activities managed in a coordination manner to obtain benefit not available from managing them individually. That's very clear. By the township example, it's very clear to you. Programs are not large projects. A very large project may be referred to as a mega project. As a guide, mega project cost, there are some various uh, country to country, depends on the area to area. Any mega project more than 1 billion, okay, or, or it has a run in the years. So that, that's, that's for two minutes. Just uh, consider that that is a definition of mega project, high value projects. But program are not the large projects. You are breaking uh, uh, you are breaking your job into the small, small segments of the project. So you cannot say that uh, the program is a mega project because mega project is like when you are building up a plant, a big refinery, correct? Or a big highway project, 500 kilometer highway projects, correct? So that is something different. But here I gave you an example which is a program. Some organizations may employ the use of project portfolio to effectively manage multiple programs and projects that are underway at any given time. Now we just came to a uh, or discuss about portfolio. A portfolio is defined as projects, program, subsidiary portfolio and operations managed as a group to achieve strategic objective. Program management and portfolio management differ from project management in their life cycle, activities, objectives, focus and benefit. Let me read the second paragraph also, then I will just try to explain this concept. Portfolio, program, project or operations often engage with the same stakeholder and may need to use the same resources, which may result in a conflict in the organization. This type of situation increases the need for coordination within the organization through the use of portfolio program and project management.
to achieve a workable balance in the organizations. Portfolio management is a big stage. You are managing the whole portfolio of the company. Correct? Like portfolio management, if I say an example, you are holding the steel plants across your region. You will be holding my 20 plants. And those 20 plants, which are manufacturing steel, are located at different locations. Some of them are in construction stage. Some of them are in operation stage. Correct? So ultimately, you are managing the whole portfolio of steel manufacturing to meet your business objective with a target to be number one in the region. And even in addition to this 20, you need more capacity. So you may be importing your steel from the world market with your branding, correct? To meet the steel demand in your region. So the portfolio management is managing the operations, managing the existing assets, managing the new projects, to, to maintain or to develop the additional capacity, okay, as required to meet your business objective. So portfolio is, is a bigger term. And surely when you are managing this, there are going to be a lot of conflicts because uh, uh, resource utilization, financial resource, uh, uh, it's resources means only not human resources. It could be a financial resource also fund mobilization, all these issues may come into when you share the resources. Oh, very, very, uh, like a, a very simple example, a pictorial view of your sample portfolio. You can see that uh, the portfolio is basically driven by organizational strategy, what strategy you are having. Correct. Say, for example, you want to be region one steel supplier in the region. Correct. So that is your organizational strategy. Correct. So, sorry, that is a vision and mission. So you will make a strategy for that. So in that strategy, your broad strategy says 80% will produce and 20% we will import. So far to manage that 80% production within your region, you are developing a portfolio. You can add that 20% import also into the portfolio. Okay. So for this, you'll be having a couple of programs, couple of projects under it, couple of operations ongoing. Correct. Correct. You may take over some assets in your region. So you will directly have a built inbuilt capacity you got, ready made capacity you got. So you will deal with the operations. And for all these things, there will be shared resources and stakeholders. Always remember the resources and stakeholders are an important phenomena in the business, in the project management, portfolio management, program management. Because till the time you don't optimize your resources, you will be doing a lot of resource wastage. If you are not able to collaborate with your all stakeholders, probably you may lose the business objective. Very simple definition of portfolio. The portfolio components are grouped together to facilitate the effective governance and management of the work that helps to achieve organizational strategies and priorities keeping in view vision and mission of the organization. The portfolio views allows organizations to see how the strategic goals are reflected in the portfolio and also enables the implementation and coordination of appropriate portfolio program and project governance. That's very important. Coordinated governance allows authorized allocation of human, financial, and physical resources. Yes. 
no conflict on resources front. And that resources could be anything, physical resources, human resources, financial resources. Uh, you, can, you can draw your own uh, portfolio. You can take one of the industry and you, you keep a target that you want to be number one in that, uh, that is your major admission. So for that, what will be your strategy? How you will build your portfolio? So that is an exercise you can take on.